See, what's amazing is the democracy was dying in darkness while Trump was president. Now they think Biden's going to be president. And now the light has come. So I guess that we don't have to be in any way critical anymore. It's really exciting stuff. So over the weekend, Joe Biden announced his communications team. And everybody's really excited about his communications team because it's filled with the ladies. Now, this has always been a puzzle to me. The same party that will tell you that there are 87 genders and that the word woman doesn't mean anything. And that, in fact, Caitlyn Jenner is a woman. And that many women are not women. The same party that thinks that um, if you are an actual biological woman, you could probably best be termed a vagina owner. That's pretty much like the best we can do because you might actually be a man, right? We actually don't know. Okay, th this party has determined it is also extremely important for there to be lots of women at the highest echelons of the incoming Biden administration. Ooh, this comes amid news that Biden is crafting an all-female senior communications team. It's gonna be like that shot at the end of the Avengers where they randomly assemble all of the female superheroes in one area. And you're like, why did they do that? That doesn't make any sense. This is a battlefield. Oh, I know why they did that. Okay, so that's the Joe Biden team at this point. Biden's campaign and transition teams confirmed on Sunday that Jen Psaki, a former White House communications director for the Obama administration and CNN contributor, which is the same thing, will succeed Kayleigh McEnany as press secretary. On top of that, several of the most prominent women from Team Biden have been tagged for their own major White House roles. Deputy campaign manager Kate Bedingfield will be communications director. Karine Jean-Pierre will be deputy press secretary. And Simone Sanders has been exiled to chief spokeswoman for VP Kamala Harris, which hardest hit Simone Sanders. Because remember, she was the one who was out there like a lot more, like Jen Psaki was just working at the CNN. <laughs> and she was, she, apparently she was desperately lobbying to be press secretary for Biden. He's like, well, how about you just go work for Kamala over there? Just over there. Just like, okay, just enjoy yourself over with Kamala. So over the weekend, Joe Biden, it was initially reported, spr sprained his foot. And according to Ryan Savetter over at Daily Wire, Joe Biden apparently fell over, a, uh, fell over his dog, apparently. His injuries stemmed from a fall over the weekend, and apparently they are more serious than initially thought, new imaging tests revealed he fractured his foot. President-elect Joe Biden sustained a sprain of his right foot, said Biden's doctor, Kevin O'Connor. He initially said this on Sunday evening. Initial x-rays are reassuring there's no obvious fracture. He will be getting an additional CT for more detailed imaging. But follow-up tests revealed that Biden, 78, sustained fractures in his foot from a fall he sustained while playing with one of his dogs. According to O'Connor, follow-up CT scan confirmed hairline fractures of Biden's lateral and intermediate cuneiform bones, which are in the midfoot. He will probably require a walking boot for several weeks. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. He's in excellent health. Everything is going to be just fine. O'Connor added initial x-rays to not show any obvious fracture. His clinical exam warranted more detailed imaging. Apparently, he fell while playing with one of his two German shepherds on Saturday, and then he visited an orthopedist. Kamala Harris had no comment on this. Uh, you know, I, if, I will say that if mysteriously we find that Joe Biden's brakes have been cut sometime in the future, or if we find that there's a tripwire on the stairs of the White House for no apparent reason, or if it turns out that the floor just outside Joe Biden's bedroom has been heavily greased, like for some reason there's just oil on the floor. I'm not saying it might be Kamala Harris. I'm not saying that Kamala Harris desperately wants to be president and Joe Biden is super old and kind of fragile. I'm not saying any of those things. I'm just saying some of those things a little bit, just a, a little bit. Anyway, so the media, of course, everything's fine. Everything's fine, guys. Now, we were told for four years, Donald Trump didn't have any serious physical problems over the course of his four years in the White House. We were told every couple of weeks that he was probably going to die of a heart attack because he was fat and old. Right? We got this every week from the media. Okay, Joe Biden, like before he even takes office, he's like breaking his foot while playing with his dogs and he can't make it through a sentence. And we're told everything is perfectly fine. Everything is perfectly fine. And of course, why would we worry? Because we have the media there, our beautiful, objective media there to tell us how wonderful Joe Biden is. 